Hi, I'm Guido from Wacom and this video is again about the mapping feature in our driver. And this video I explain um, how to map the active area of my tablet to a certain part of the screen or to a certain monitor. To do this, I will call up the Wacom Desktop Center again. Let me do it here on my PC. Choose my tablet on the left and click on Pen Settings. Okay, here I go to the Mapping tab. And here I can already see that my active area of the tablet is preset to my two screens. So the one on the left is the notebook screen here in front of me. And the one on the right is uh, the second screen I have here in the back. So um, why should I change now the mapping? As I said, the default is that the left half of the tablet is now controlling my real estate on the monitor screen and the right half of the tablet is controlling the second screen. So the tablet share, uh, or both screens share one active area. However, there are situations like, for example, I'm in a Zoom or Teams session and I have all my infrastructure information like the gallery view, the chat windows and all that stuff on monitor number one and do all my productive work, my annotations, my whiteboarding on monitor two. So it would make sense to use the full active area of, in this case, a quite small tablet, just with one portion of the screens, in this case, the whiteboarding window. So to do this, I would go in the mapping window. I would go here on screen area, which by default is full. I can now switch to cover a certain monitor, one or two. In this case, I assume that my whiteboard window will be on monitor number one, the one which is here in front of me, and all the infrastructure information on monitor two. So by switching the screen area to monitor one, you will see here, the red lines are indicating this, the full active area is now controlling only one screen, the one in front of me. And the other screen, this one, this part here, you can see on the screen, is just a static display. So there's nothing happening uh, with my tablet on that screen, which is quite beneficial. So I can have the full active area of my tablet just exclusively on my one window and I can benefit the full resolution of the active area and the position of the tablet for my drawings and interactions with my audience. And I can always go back to control both windows by going in here and switching back to full and then I'm controlling again both screens. I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching the video and take care.